Well, Saeed, welcome to Bayes. It's really nice to meet you. You've a chance to get to talk to you. You've done something really exciting, developed uh, a game, uh, some software that, will you tell me? So we are a young startup based in London. We are making a game to inspire STEM learning, especially for young people and female players. And the way we're doing it is we are using concepts from physics and chemistry in order to design gameplay elements that are very fun and engaging to play, but at the same time, they're quite inspiring and learning to basically expose the players to how chemistry and physics actually work. So is this something for everyone? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a game for everyone. Uh, it's, it's very easy to pick up and master the game. Uh, the way it works is it's like a sandbox game. Like you have these Lego-like pieces that you can put together, build something, uh, and then you have these materials that you can mix, create new alloys, use those alloys to reinforce your building parts, make uh, basically like stronger contraptions, lighter contraptions, and then you use your contraptions to go on doing quests in the world. It could be like combat, it could be puzzles. Uh, so, so that's really the idea. Well, I, as Minister for Science, Research and Innovation, get to see very privileged access. And I've, I know how powerful the UK games industry is. Incredibly dynamic, creative, entrepreneurial sector. And it's not just games, because a lot of these are now driving big in innovations in mental health, in dementia diagnosis, in neurodegenerative pathways. So this is a really interesting sector and you're literally at the front end of it. Can you just talk through the, your, your journey? Sure, so a year before applying to university, I wanted to do mathematics, uh, but somehow I got very interested into black hole, quantum physics, all of that. And then I thought, okay, I'm gonna go for physics. But I got into Imperial College, so that was very good. Uh, I did my undergrad there, then went to Cambridge to do my master's, uh, and then I did my PhD, at, uh, PhD in physics at Imperial College again. And from then onwards, I decided that I want to bring my innovation to the world. So I started my company. My, my first company actually failed, so this is the second they one. They often do. I mean, that's, yeah. I, I've yet to meet a, su a successful entrepreneur who didn't, didn't fail early on. It's, yeah. it's a badge of honor. Yeah, it's, it's all learning. It's yeah. all a learning experience. Yeah. Um, just tell me a little bit, will you, about this. I think you, you won an award at Imperial to work on the first company, uh, and yeah. then you've won the Young Innovator Award. Can you just say a little bit about how that's helping you to grow the business? Sure, so Young Innovator Award has been a massive help because I'm getting a lot of business support from my uh, champion. Uh, and on top of that, we obviously get access to a huge network of people who help us uh, in so many different ways. And on top of that is basically the, the financial support we get to push the business forward. How many of you are there at the moment? Is, is it just you or a few people? And, and what are the ambitions? Sure, so currently we're about a team of uh, six people. And currently we're pitching to investors and publishers. And we've already gained some attention from them, although no commitment yet. Uh, so I, I think we would be having some breakthroughs soon. Fantastic. Yeah. Fascinating. So my background was in biological science, mainly uh, med tech and some clean tech and agri tech. And I've, I've been heard at times to say, look, we've had the age of chemistry in the 18th and 19th century. We've had the age of physics in the 20th century. Yeah. Now we're in the age of bioscience. Mm -hmm. Actually, in this job, I've come to realize physics is not finished yet. There's some amazing science coming out of uh, physics. What's the thing that you would ask me to do to encourage a new generation of youths to do more of this? Uh, but I do think that young people are not exposed enough to what STEM actually means, what physics actually means. Uh, I mean, like a lot of things we learn at school are just like on paper. Uh, they, they don't really get to experiment with them enough. Uh, but I, I think you as the Minister of uh, Science and Innovation can definitely do something definitely, about that. Yeah. Science is about uh, free thought, free thinking, free expression, diversity mm -hmm. of ideas, challenge, uh, and we need all sorts of people and yeah. all sorts of cultures in science. Well, Saeed, thank you very much, I mean, A, for coming in and telling me all about the company. And thanks so much for having me here. It was, it was an honor to speak to you.